What's up my friends, David Moss Jr. And in this video, we are going to be setting up this Ice Barrel 400 with the all new Ice Barrel Chiller Conversion Kit. For under $100, you can get this conversion kit, which we're gonna play around with today and see just how easy it is to install to make your Ice Barrel 400 chiller ready, whether you're using a DIY or using Ice Barrel's upcoming chiller itself. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's talk about everything that you get. So you're gonna get your installation instructions, which is gonna be a QR code with very simple instructions on exactly how to do it. You get a template, which will need a drill bit. The drill bit is going to be to put that hole up top so that your water has a place to go back into. And then in this bag, you get some pipe tape, your outlet, your interior pre-filter, a plug, a new hose bib. Ooh, how cool is that? Two of your wrenches, which are actually built specifically for the ice barrel. It's gonna be very hard to find these anywhere else. They're super duper thin. And then there's one last thing in, oh, no way. That's cool. All right, so I was afraid that you were gonna have to figure out the size. They actually give you a one and a half inch drill bit. So you don't even have to go to the store and buy a drill bit. As long as you have a drill that you can use, you'll be ready to go. And that's what you get. Funny story, this is actually the first product that was ever given to me by a company to review. Ice Barrel sent me this after I had about 500 subscribers on YouTube. I wasn't even like anybody, anybody knew, but I was posting a ton of videos about cold plunging and how it was changing my life. And they sent me this barrel with no obligations. They didn't even ask me to do a review on it. So this is the first one. I feel like it's just the perfect one to do this conversion kit on. Because if you followed my channel, for any period of time, you know that I converted this ice barrel and I believe I was the first person to actually do it. I converted this ice barrel using a chiller, using a pump. I drilled my own two holes in here and actually put a pump down inside with tubes coming out, going into a chiller out here and then a tube going back in to cycle that water through. And it's pretty exciting that now I'm using the exact same barrel to do Ice Barrel's conversion kit for their chiller a few years later. It's just real exciting to be a part of the cold plunging community and get to see each step as we continue to get better and make this more accessible for more and more people. And another thing that I absolutely love about the Ice Barrel 400 is that to me, it's the most roomy of all of the cold plunges that you get into. I'm six foot one, 205 pounds. And when I get into the Ice Barrel 400, there's no bench inside, there's nothing inside except for water. And I like the shape of it, it's a barrel. So I can get down inside it into that active crouched position and it's a really, really comfortable plunge. So I'm excited that they're gonna make it easier for people to chill the water on a regular basis, even though it doesn't have insulation, so that you can get cold anytime you want. Well, enough of that, let's go ahead and get to the conversion. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scan this QR code. It's gonna take us to the instructions. They're step-by-step -step instructions with some pictures to show you exactly what you're gonna be doing. Hopefully this video will help a lot of people do this because I'm one of those people who struggle reading instructions. I like to watch other people do it, see if there's any mistakes that can be made. So hopefully this is really helpful. So we're gonna scan this QR code and the first thing it's gonna say is make sure that you don't over tighten any of these components because it could damage the components, it could damage your plunge. So definitely use a little bit of caution when it comes time to tighten these components. You're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need the provided drill bit. This is gonna be to drill the top hole where the water's gonna go back into your Ice Barrel 400 and then a sticker template. The cool thing about this is you get to choose where you want this hole to be. So depending on your setting, where you have your barrel, where you wanna have your chiller, you can actually choose a side. You can put it up in the front, which I don't recommend. You could put it in the back, which is what I'm gonna do because I already have two holes back here. I'm just gonna repurpose one of those. But it tells you on the sticker, the top, and you're basically gonna take the top of your barrel and you're gonna just sticker this on and that template is gonna tell you exactly where to drill your hole. And then you're just gonna need the top piece, which looks like this. So I just wanna say, side note here, if you have a brand new Ice Barrel 400 and you're doing this conversion, the template is supposed to start here, right here. I started it up here because I was trying to repurpose these holes that I already had. Um, definitely don't do that, it's not necessary. Otherwise you'll have to do what I did here and cut out a little bit of the lip, which sucks, but that was me. that's my bad. Not Ice Barrel's bad, the instructions were very thorough. There's pictures that say started at the top of one of these rectangles here. But if you start the template here, your hole should be somewhere in this area and there won't be any issues with the lip and it'll be a much cleaner cut. But I just wanna let you know, obviously I make some mistakes and I want you to see them. All right, so let's go ahead and put our drill bit in. We got that. Now we're just gonna turn it to face the camera. I'm gonna choose this hole here. So I'm gonna take the sticker out. I'm actually gonna use the template just to make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna repurpose this hole here. 
All right, we look good there. Got it on the top. You know what? I'm gonna put the hole in the middle of the other two. I'm gonna have just a bunch of holes here. Since I already had two holes there, I don't know, it's gonna be really hard to get this to catch inside one of them. I'm gonna try it, but I might end up making a third hole and just filling them in. So not the prettiest. We're gonna fix that, don't worry. The cool thing is if you get these three quarter inch plugs, if you did my original DIY, the three quarter inch plugs or any three quarter inch plug will actually thread and screw right in there so you don't have to have three holes. Now we're done with that. You wanna make sure you don't have any jagged edges sticking out. And then you're just gonna unthread this piece here. It doesn't matter too much for my setup because I already have two holes up here, but for a brand new setup, you actually wanna take this rubber washer off and you're gonna to want to have it on the inside. And there's actually a rough surface and a smooth surface. You actually wanna have the rough surface against the ice barrel. And then you just screw it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. The next thing we're gonna do is take this wrench and we're just going to tighten it. Remember, you don't wanna over tighten it. You'll feel when you're getting close, that's good. That's nice and snug. This is also the part where you will take this little plug and you can actually just plug up the top piece if you're not ready to attach a chiller. And that'll just keep bugs and things from making its way into your barrel. Or if you're just using ice and you have it down lower, it'll just keep the water from coming out. Once again, I've got to find a plug for the two holes that I had previously. So imagine those aren't there. That's kind of what it's going to look like. Huh. This next step does not seem easy, but I'm going to figure it out. We're going to be taking the drain spout that's currently on there completely off and putting a new one on. So I think I'm going to be using the stool to get down in there. I don't know. Maybe you need two people. Let's, we're going to find out. Oy. Oh, dear. Oh. That way. Well, that was way easier than I thought. It literally just like, came right off. I don't know if I unscrew this or just pull this out. Way easier than I thought. All right, I don't know why that seemed like it was gonna be a much harder task. Old spout's off. So got the old spigot off and let's take a look and see what the differences are between the new spigot and the old spigot. So if you look at both of them, the out spout is the same size. The in spout is the same size and the hole where the water is going to be going through is the same size. So what's really the, oh, here's the difference. Okay. So that makes sense actually. All right, let's talk about that. Nut off, it'll show that there's more thread on the new one than there is on the old one. And that is so that you can attach this pre-filter. You want to have this pre-filter because what that's going to do is prevent any debris from making its way through your spout, going into your pump, which could damage your pump making its way into your filter, clogging your filter, or making your filter dirty up a little bit faster, or making its way through your chiller, which you don't want stuff to run through your chiller. So that's actually really cool. So we can add the pre-filter. Now let's go ahead and do that. So before we put this on, let's talk about it, right? So there is a, a little nut, a washer, and then there's actually another little rubber washer on the inside here. That is what's gonna go on the outside, and then there will be the barrel, and then this, and this, ah, I'll drop it again, are gonna go on the inside. And you're gonna tighten it. We're gonna figure out how to tighten this by ourselves. Hopefully it's a lot easier than I'm thinking it's gonna be. We're gonna slide this in. Probably easier if I flip it upside down for this part. I feel like I just gotta twist it in, which might make it hold on tight for me. All right, it's on there pretty good. Put it on its little stand. Keep it safe for me. Oy. Don't die. Oy. Should be good. You can always test it with some water at this point. If you want, put a, about a foot of water in there and just make sure it's not leaking. I would highly recommend doing that before you move on because that would suck if you had all this done and then you went to fill it up and then it leaked. So we're gonna test it real quick. So I just checked inside and the water is about here. So it's over the spout, the spigot. So this would be the time to check and see if there's any water underneath. If you're feeling any water, there's none. Make sure that it works. Water's coming out. So we're good to go. No need to fill it up any further. So now we got the spigot on, we've got the top spout on, everything's ready. We're just gonna put this little pre-filter on inside and no need to really use a wrench on this. This you're literally just gonna hand tighten on. And once again, what that does is it protects things from making their way into your pump and your chiller. So we're gonna go ahead and hand tighten that on there. And we're on. Woo! 
All right, well, that was easy enough. It took me literally a few minutes and obviously the hardest part was filming it all, but very easy. We've got the top on. Once again, kind of disregard the two holes. Those will not be there unless you're doing the same thing I did and kind of repurposing a barrel you already have set up with my original DIY. So we can easily find some plugs to fill those holes in if they bother you. But we've got our top spout on here, which is perfect. Easy to just connect a chiller right to that. It's three quarter inch hole, which is great. And then down here at the bottom, this is the only thing that's gonna be a little tricky. Maybe not for anybody else who's going with the ice barrel chiller, but with the ice barrel chiller, it'll connect right to that spigot, which also comes on the 300 and the 500. So the 300 and the 500 from ice barrel already come with this already set up. The 400 is the OG from ice barrel. So that's why you have to get this little conversion kit if you're gonna go with the ice barrel chiller. Having it set up to the spigot will be very, very easy. You can turn it off, turn it right back on. I'm gonna drain the water that's inside there currently. And we have a pre-filter down here. Now, if you are doing a DIY, we're gonna have to play around with the fitting here and try to figure out exactly what's gonna fit onto this hose bib. It is a three quarter inch standard hose bib, so shouldn't be too hard to find. Super stoked on how easy that was. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So if you're in the market for an ice barrel 400, make sure you use discount code MOSS, M-A-U-S in the link down in the description below. It'll save you 12% off of anything ice barrel has to offer. Or if you're into doing things yourself, check out the video that I'm gonna have after this video. It'll show you exactly how to set up an ice barrel 400 with a DIY chiller. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below, but I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, guys, and God bless.